Hey guys, Valkyrie Baywas here, and today I had a short video because I just got a Neo Geo uh, mini pad here, and I just got it in the mail. Uh, now this is the American or international version of the controller, and this is the Japanese Neo Geo mini. Um, I, I got the Neo Geo mini Japanese version. I have the international one. Uh, coming to me, but I thought this would be an interesting video just to review the control pad and then also see if it works with the Japanese version. So let's do that. Okay, so this is going to be my first time opening the Neo Geo uh, mini controller. And uh, I have kind of opened the edge here so we can get into it. Uh, the box is really nice though. You know, it's got, got, got the logo over here, logo on the back. Uh, I did try to get in over here. This was really hard to get into, so I just kind of gave up and opened it in the, over here. So anyway, first got like a little pull tab right here. Let's pull this out. Okay. Box up there. So right away you can see the controller inside the padding here. Uh, right away. We have an instruction book, as you can say, with some type of loose page inside. Okay, that looks just like garbage. Uh, but anyway, there's the manual. It's got it in English. It's got it in a couple different languages. Here's the English languages, or English instructions. Okay. Instructions up there. And let's get this controller out. So, comes in a little plastic bag. Get that plastic bag out. And there you go. There's the controller. Um, buttons feel a lot like the buttons on the Neo Geo Mini itself. They feel very identical. Um, uh, one of the Metal Jesus that did a, a review on this unit said the buttons uh, were in the wrong order. They are compared to the... Uh, the original Neo Geo CD, but I mean, I think what they were going for is it's an exact, if you can see, match to the actual Neo Geo Mini. So they're thinking people are coming to this for the first time. Uh, they're going to play the Neo Geo Mini and learn on it, right? And then want to pick this up or just have the buttons in the same layout for first and second player. Um, on the back, you got the SNK logo. And it looks like it's a five screw. Um, and there's your little Neo Geo connector with, uh, let's see if you can get the little logo. It's got the little logo in there. So like I said, this is a, th there's a lot of been said about this controller. Uh, some people like it, some people don't. Uh, Metal Jesus famously said that no clicky on the thumbstick and there is no clicky on the thumbstick, which is kind of a bummer. I agree that that would have been good. Uh, the nice thing about it, though, it does have real good uh, flick back. So if I'm pressing up, it flicks back to the center, vice versa. So when I'm doing half circles, always wants to go back to the center. So that's good. Uh, it has a little nodule on the top to kind of hold your thumb when you're moving it around. My thumb does slip around a little bit on it, but, I mean, it's not too bad. Not too bad. Uh, the start and select button, I mean, I'm thinking this is what the Sega's uh, Neo Geo... Uh, CD was uh, they're a little bit far apart but I mean it's you know to reset it but it's not bad so now I'm gonna clear the artifacts now that we've seen this and what it looks like and it, it feels pretty good um, oh it's got kind of a slope to it that's interesting probably for the thumbstick uh, and the little concave on the back for holding it um, so now we're gonna see and I haven't tested this yet, so this could go bad, could go work just fine. If the uh, Neo Geo Japanese version will work with the Neo Geo International Controller. Or if there's any difference, I'm not sure. But I couldn't get a hold of the Japanese ones because they were crazy expensive at the time. So I waited for the international ones, and now we get to find out. So here we go. Okay, so we're going to turn on our Neo Geo.
and we're going to take our controller we'll leave it all done up for now and as you can see the control the game's up now uh, we're going to plug it in the one player on the side here uh, I think it's going to go like that so yeah it's, it's plugged in now the moment of truth does it work with the Japanese version well, let's see it does work with the Japanese version and let's go let's start a game here it, it seems pretty good I'm, there's also been some uh, some people saying there's lag I'm not really feeling lag I'll have to see what the game okay so let's go to metal slug here actually let's do let's do shock troopers here that's a good one so we're going to start shock troopers we're going to push the button it's not bad okay i'm going to move the the game up a little bit so you can see it and we're going to push buttons here so i'm going to press the start button i'm going to select easy just for this test Let's do let's do the good let's do the good character. Right, I mean, as you can see, it feels really pretty good. Let's see jumps. I mean, you, you tell me. Push the button. I'll audibly push the button here. That seems like not very much delay with any. Let's try a fighting game, shall we? So it's pivotal. So that's that's it being one player. Let's see if we want to press start right now. We do. We get second player. So there's sec our second player is now in there as well. When when it's plugged into the first player. So first player can do this, and second player can do this, which is pretty cool. Okay, so we're going to try a different game here. So we're going to press start and select on the controller here. Okay, so I moved it a little bit closer, and we're now going to see if I can switch it over to the second player. It should work fine. And then we're going to try to play some fighting games here. So I'm going to move it over to player two. Okay. And then we're going to find... Let's see, we're going to find Mark of the Wolf here. Mark of the Wolf. And let's see, if I press anything on this button, does it work? It does not. Alright, so first player has to select. It does come up. Okay, let's carry, and then I'm going to pick, yep, it's working, it's two player. The Griffin. I'm guessing they're half circle moves, maybe? Oh yeah, definitely happy. So back half circle shot. As you see, like, looks really good. Nice. Let's see, I'm trying to figure out a move here. I probably should have done this first, but yeah, yellow. But yeah, as you can see, the back half circle and D works perfectly fine. Um, I mean, I like it. Let's see how easy it is to jump. So, jump. Back to center. Do our moves. Jump. Jump. I mean, that's not really bad at all, to be honest. Okay, let's try one more. We're going to try metal. Let me reset this. So, we're going to exit out and watch. It should let me just switch this real quick into there. Just like so. And now this should be first player. Let's see. So now we're going to launch it. Yep, it became first player. That's pretty cool. That's that's actually really neat how it switches back and forth like that. Um, but now, okay, so now it's probably the sound here. Okay. Let's get ourselves a machine gun so we can save her.
Oh, it's really hard to see a small screen from this far away. There we go. There we go, this is what I want over there. Oh yeah. That's really easy to race it from top to bottom here. Yeah, I, and I, I mean, I don't feel any, any lag from what I said. So I kind of feel like his review or whatever he was reviewing was not accurate. So anyway, that is, that's really cool. Okay, so real quick, what do I feel about the unit? Well, I mean, it feels very light, and it, it does feel, you know, it feels like it didn't cost a ton of money, but I mean, these things are only $25. The buttons could be finished better, honestly. Uh, they feel much like the unit's buttons. Um, but I mean, overall, like, it functions really well. It goes back and forth from first player to second player real easy. Um, I actually, the, the joystick isn't as bad as everybody was making it sound like. Like, like everybody's complaining you just couldn't select what game you wanted. Or like, because it was hard to go up and down. Look, I am not having any issues with this. And I'm using one finger. So, they're just bad. What can I tell you? Uh, it is a bummer about no clicky as far as no clicks in the, the uh, thumbstick. That's kind of a bummer. I'm gonna clear artifacting there. Uh, that's kind of a bummer, but I mean, overall, it, it's really nice. I would I would definitely recommend it. I mean, it's 25 bucks. So if you're gonna buy this thing, you might as well get this. And save yourself some money. The international ones, or the ones being sold on Amazon, work perfectly fine with this Japanese one. Uh, no issues at all. So anyway, if you like this video, please like and subscribe and check out some of my other videos. Uh, I will probably be giving away an uh, international version of these when I, I'm getting two of them. So that's coming. So like and subscribe and uh, check out the rest of the videos. Thanks for watching.